I am unwell. I'm not okay. Who wasn't gonna tell me that Christmas is in a week? Like seven days. Let me get that through your head. Seven days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days. As in next week is Christmas. Where did December go? Christmas! And y'all weren't gonna let me forget. That's not roasting on an open fire. Bertha still doesn't even have a star and Santa's coming to town next week. It's okay, Bertha. You're still killing it though, girl. I'm sure you guys are just dying to know what type of wacky, naughty adventures that I'm getting myself into today. Wacky and naughty. My adjectives that I choose to use out of my brain are the most amazing things in the entire world. I'm talking about how good my adjectives are and I go, amazing? Come on, Danielle, think of something better. Spectacular? I mean, did you guys just see my door open by itself? Why did it do that? It wasn't a Christmas ghost, it was just Clover, but you're kind of close. You look like Scrooge. You could be a ghost. No? Okay. I'm looking a little stripey. Sorry about that. Today we have to drive my mom to work. Vroom vroom. I'm not driving because I can't do that. I'll do it one day. But she's currently carless because her car is doing something and has some dealership. I honestly didn't pay attention that much. I don't know where it is. But all I know is that we have to drive her to work. I guess she hasn't figured out the whole teleportation thing. And then I have like dance practice. I think my sister's coming home today. She's like Santa. She's like a week early though. Because Santa's coming in a week. Did you guys know that? Are you aware? Did you did you hear? <laughs> did someone scream that at you when you opened this vlog this morning? Open the old closet Rooney. Honestly, I don't have that many options. Let's go with the same shirt I wear every single day. Great. Now that that hard decision's over, just really quickly, if you watched yesterday's vlog, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try. No, 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 no. Well, that was embarrassing. Fit check. Look, I'm even sporting the jaundice Santa sock. We love Santa in all colors, jaundice and all. Honestly, though, if Santa was jaundice, you'd think he'd be a little bit nicer to Rudolph. Like, Rudolph, it's like his nose is red. Okay, big whoop. Santa, dude, you're yellow. You look like a third grade stick figure's idea of the color skin color. You're like when you get the Crayola box of crayons, but you only get the eight pack and you have to compromise. And every single person that you draw is either a weird shade of brown, orange, or yellow. And you're telling Rudolph he's doing something wrong? To me, it just seems a little bit hypocritical. I'm not gonna lie. That right there is the face of a jaundice hypocrite. However, I was also jaundice, so that also makes me a jaundice hypocrite. But I grew out of my jaundice. I'm jaundice free. Is jaundice a disease? Did I, like, accomplish something? Hold on! Was I cured of jaundice? Have I conquered the jaund? Can I add that to my college resume? Be like, oh yeah, I did all of that, and I conquered jaundice. And a raging peanut allergy. Hold on, we're gonna sit down. I've been wanting to have a conversation with someone about this. I think I I outgrew my peanut allergy. Have I gotten tested? No, but I just have this deep gut feeling that if I eat a peanut, I just won't die. Maybe I should test it out. Maybe on Christmas. Hey, Christmas peanut. But like, I just feel like I'm not gonna die. I just have an intuition. Okay, but seriously, peanut allergies are the worst. Someone can kill me with a nut. Literally, they put a nut in my mouth and I go, eh. That's so lame. If there was ever like a war, I say peanut people first to go. You could so easily torture us. Imagine. Okay, we're in a scenario now. We're at war. I am killing people. Boom, boom, boom. Ha, ha, ha. Not with peanuts. With other weapons. I get captured. I know something, and they know I know something. So they're like, open up. Forcing my mouth open. They're like, ah. I'm like, ah. Then they give me a peanut, and then I'm just like, eh. Like, that's the end of it. I'm that volatile. They don't have to waste any ammo, just a nut. They go anywhere. They go to the weird dude in the back of the parking lot, and like, hey, do you have a nut? You know, it's, it's not that bad. Oh my god, that was so good. That deserves a high five. Wow. Are you being oh. sarcastic? No, yeah. I loved that. Oh, I didn't think you were going to do that. That kind of hurt my shoulder oh, like I was going enough. in for it. Oh, god. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. No, 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 because you're going to do it again. I, I know you're going to do it again. No. Uh, ah, not, not, not cool. That was not cool. Oh, mine wasn't as good as yours. All right, let's go drive my mom to work. We're leaving. Making my way downtown. Guys, we should start a carpool service, like all three of us. We could pick people up. Uber? Yeah, like Uber, but just our family. We're part well, of the entertainment. For one Haven't I been running that service? This Guard. is the best of Boston. Give so, us a review. Uh, yeah, sorry. It's okay. It's not even stand for? Eyes. Echo. I don't even know. Erectile. What's with the erectile? You don't even really know what that means. I know. Well, the other day there was a commercial on the radio and it was talking about erectile dysfunction and I didn't know what that was, so I made a joke about it at Terry's expense without knowing what it was. So then imagine my surprise when my stepfather explains to me what I was just making a joke about in regards to him. That was an interesting day. The joke did not stick, let me tell you that. When they're... 
It was a PG manner. Well, I don't need to know. I'm okay. I got enough information. But anyway, ever since then, I've learned my lessons about making jokes about EDs. Let's just say it's not early diagnosis. You may want some early diagnosis, though, if you have whatever. Ooh. How do you know that the guy on the radio has it? about how people like always recognize them as that's what you're recognized for you're walking in the grocery store and someone's like oh you're the guy from the erectile dysfunction commercial we're at chick-fil-a to pick up my mom some brekkie fest brekkie fest wow the workers at chick-fil-a do not look very holly and jolly today there was a fight this guy just walked up to the chick-fil-a employee he's yelling oh my god now he's just standing there oh he looks scary why is his hand behind his back though is he hiding something i'm really concerned for these poor chick-fil-a employees they're gonna get shot hey mom how's the food how's the food it's okay. It's okay well do you think we're gonna pass the homeless people on the uh street corner for like our key club at school they were telling us to go up to those people on the the street corner the homeless people and give them gifts as a service project but like the people at school were instructing us to go up to homeless people which i feel like kind of contradicts the whole like safety first thing like just walking up to homeless people and being like here's a gift what if they try to force feed you a nut bye mom hope you find your dad her dad's not missing that's a quote from elf i'm referencing christmas movies Okay, I'm getting in the front seat. Hopefully I don't get hit by a car. Look both ways, I've learned my lesson. Bye mom, I miss you already. Ugh, we're in baby. Avoiding all fatal casualties. Nerd. God, look at all the nerds waiting in line for Quail Ridge books. It's like the six people that still read in North Carolina right there. If you've ever wondered where our intellectuals go, the line outside of Quail Ridge book. Actually, they're pretty stupid. It's cold outside. Why would you wait in line for a bookstore? Go on Amazon, idiots. Guys, that's where my dad works. Everyone say hey. Hey, I want to try this restaurant. It's called Alpaca. Alpaca? Yeah, do you think they serve like alpaca meat? I hope or not. Alpaca, now open. I really hope they don't serve alpacas. That doesn't seem like it would taste like, good. Like you say serve alpacas, like they serve them like in Oh my the God, what if they're the waiters? Or... That's a business venture we should venture into. Alpaca me that. <gasps> That's a good name. Or alpaca it up for you and give it to you in a delivery box. Oh, start, that could be our slogan. Start a delivery service where we deliver packages with alpacas. I'll package you up. Oh my God. I Wait, wait. Copyright. I copyrighted it. I know that's not how copyright works, but that's how I'm making it work. Now we're going to go buy a car. We're buying them, a car? I told them that you are Joe Biden's niece and that you're a millionaire and that you want a Toyota. So they should give us the royal treatment. For Joe Biden's niece? Well, isn't he rich? I mean, I assume so. He's just not the rich person I would have chosen. Okay, which rich person would you have chosen? Me. Like you're your own niece. I'm my own niece. Yep, that's exactly <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm confused of why we're here. Why are we picking up the car if you're the only one in this car who can drive? So we're just switching the cars? Paying for it and then just parking it here so that way later with your mom you can just go uh, and we don't have to go in and try it, to... Got it, got it, got it. Jeez, they have a big tree. Guys, on the TV they just said that we might have a white Christmas. I've never had a white Christmas before. That would be exciting. Not to be rude to the Toyota people, I'm sure they're trying their best, but this is the most boring place in the entire world. This very short man just got into this very large, girthy truck. I'm surprised he doesn't need a booster seat or a step stool. He looks like the little munchkin from <laughs> The Wizard of Oz. We represent the Lollipop Kids. I thought it was the Lollipop, Lollipop Guild. It's the Lollipop Guild? Yeah, the Lollipop Guild. Like we the represent guild. the Lollipop Guild? That is not the song. Mm -hmm. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. There's no way. He was right. The Guild? What the heck is a Guild? Like a labor union in the Middle Ages. Who puts guild. that into a song? We represent the labor union, the labor union, the labor union. Like, no. We stood here for a half hour and they forgot about us. It's okay because they're bringing the car now. They got it together. We still love the people here at Toyota. Actually, I never had any love for them, so I guess I still don't love them. Them? That sounds mean. It's not that I didn't love them. I'm sure they're very nice people. I just don't have an emotional attachment to them currently. They're in a middle ground. Bad, pathetic plant. I named her Bertha. Oh, wait, no, I can't do that. That's the name of my tree. Well, it's pretty accurate. You think that's real? I think it's plastic. Oh, it's definitely plastic. It's, it's super glued in there. Cynthia, that's her name. <gasps> Cynthia the synthetic plant. I didn't even mean to do that. Guys, look at the car. Say peace out, Cynthia. Peace out. The sweet smell of the same car that I always drive in. It doesn't have a good scent. Guys, this is kind of exciting. They just opened up a new Aldi. 
I'm about to go in for the first time. Everyone was like freaking out. They're like, oh my God, there's a new Aldi. There's literally an Aldi like two miles down the road. I could walk to the other Aldi, but everyone's losing their marbles over this one. I don't understand. Maybe because it's new and shiny. I always hated Aldi because they make you pay for a cart. Like you put in like a quarter and then they give it back to you. But I always thought that they were going to steal my quarter. Not that I frequent Aldi a lot, but you know, like I went one time when I was a kid and that memory really stuck with me. Like what if they stole my quarter? What if they give me back the wrong quarter what if I was emotionally attached to my quarter so many things could go wrong wow it smells like quarters stolen quarters actually it's surprisingly nice in here look at this look at their little squishmallow set oh it's a dog that is quacktacular I get the Aldi hype I feel so fancy in here they have a surprisingly wide selection of eggnog I've personally never had eggnog do you not have a desire to have anything that's egg and nog like those are two unappealing words. Bye Aldi. That was fun. Do you guys remember the audition I made the other day? Well, because I made that, we have practice today. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next three hours. I know you guys are gonna miss me. Are you gonna miss me? Probably not. I've been in a bad mood. I've been a little bit snappy at him today. He's probably gonna be very excited to leave me. Alrighty guys, we're leaving the dance studio. That was so much fun. It was three hours of dance. Fun, 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 fun. Okay, it sounds like I'm being sarcastic. It actually was fun. But now it's time to go pick up my mom from work. The Polar Express, that's what we are. I guess the Polar Express doesn't really pick people up from work, but you know what? They're expanding their horizons. Back at Hardee's. Fun fact, I never had a chicken tender before. Like, I've, I'm sure I've had chicken tenders before, but like, I never really liked them. But the other day, my mom, they gave her the wrong food, so I ate her chicken tenders that they gave her at Hardee's, and they were so good. Would you like another fun fact? Sure. If you go on the West Coast, Hardee's are called Carl's Jr. Oh my God, are you kidding? I've always, because uh, it's the same logo. Ah, this is a large bag. Oh. He got a spicy chicken sandwich. It's hot, 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 hot. And I got a five piece chicken tender. This is a large box. Selectable. A I'm kind of excited. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't want lettuce or any of that. Tastes like chicken. Spicy? Not really. Not a fan. I like the spicy chicken. Mm-mm. It is. Sesame seeds. Oh, cool. It has such a chickeny flavor. I mean, I know it's chicken, but you know, you never know. Right now, I'm a vegan. No, I'm no, not I'm a vegan. Not. No, no. <laughs> Me neither. Hey, mom. I drank from earlier. Wow. Yeah. How was work? Was it oh, fun? No. Never fun. Well, I couldn't even drive like this if I tried. Terry it's was so driving my mom's back. car. And he's shorter than me. How does he has such happen? stubby legs. How does that read? Does he sit on his seat? Does he have a booster seat like the munchkin? Well, can he even move the mirror and I'm taller than him? That makes no sense. He shouldn't have married a short man. He lied on his match.com profile. He did? God, that's so embarrassing. Well, but I you lied was, too, well, I right? I said I was slightly shorter because nobody likes a tall woman. Well, apparently. But now I'm right because I shrunk, so I'm all good now. Oh, good for you. Yes, shrink, mom, shrink. I think my grandma's shrinking. Every time I go over there, I swear she's getting shorter. Maybe I'm just getting taller. I am growing like a sprout, like a weed. I am the weed. I think you're done growing. Oh. Mom, that's depressing. Well, Dad, why do you have to marry? Wait, no, Dad and you are tall, so why am I not tall? Have you seen Grandma, Aunt Darlene? I think my, my mom cheated. The genetic gene pool has Amazons and pygmies, so we are all different heights. I'm convinced I'm adopted. There's no way that Dad and you are my parents. There's actually no way. You so are like me, like you would not believe. Well, I'm mentally unstable like both of you, so I got that going for me. Hey, the apple does not fall far from from the tree we have a lot we have a lot of crazy i just can't believe that i'm as normal as i am considering You're i mean normal. i mean not normal but i mean i got you and dad going into me i have the craziest people pumped into my veins i'm honestly surprised i have all my toes as my grandmother said you just don't want to dig too deep everybody has crazy in their family honey nobody is normal what is normal well, not us. So, Mom, how was your day at work? You did get yelled at by an anti-masker. An unmasked woman came in and demanded I tell her where the Kendra Scott store was. I hope you slapped and her I in the face. And I was on the phone. You told, told her to her, put on a mask. I told her that she needed to put on a mask and that she needed to use her cell phone to call Kendra Scott and find out where her store was. Exactly. Like, why do you care? Continuation from yesterday's vlog. We're at a different Hallmark this time. We're trying to see if we can replace the gift that my mom Hallmark. broke. Well, I mean, I had I to broke. tell him. That was your second time breaking that thing, too? That was all the you broke the other one though. We had to buy another one. This was already a replacement. Oh, you broke something else. Okay, great. We break a lot of stuff. <gasps> Look at the dinosaur. dinosaur. Yeah, he has his own book. I forget his oh, name. Oh, he's cute. Look I want him. Can we look inside though? I'm freezing. All right, we're 
we're hunting, we're hunting. I probably shouldn't say that. It's a reindeer. We're not hunting it. I mean, we are, but yeah. I'm not particularly patriotic when it comes to my state, but something about this like cute little North Carolina stuff, it just makes me so happy. Look, that's where I live, right where there's absolutely nothing but a giant strawberry and a possum. That's our draw. Possums and strawberry. And guys, look at these cute little dog ornaments. I think I want to get Bertha one. You can't tell me this isn't cute. I think I'm going to get Bertha one. That's me. So adorable. So we're unsuccessful in finding that darn reindeer, but you know what? I got Bertha a new ornament and she's going to strut her stuff and look amazing. She still doesn't have a star. That's okay because she's going to look so good with this new dog ornament on her. We got another coupon for Bed Bath & Beyond. Wait, Bath & Body Works, darn it. Okay, how many times have I done that? How many times have I done that? Every single vlog. It is Bed Bath, no, it is Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works, get that through your thick skull, Danielle. Anyway, we got a coupon, so we're gonna go get something. I got Twisted Peppermint, personal favorite thing in the entire world. Look at all these. Look at Santa go. Guys, look at my little gift. I'm so excited. We're leaving Bath and Body Works. Is that the right thing? Is this? Just to be safe, we're also leaving Bed Bath and Beyond. I don't know which one this is. I really don't. Bath and Body Works. I'll get it one day. It's Bed Bath and Body Works. Beyond. Beyond. It's Santa approved, guys. Guys, guess who's home? Allison. Mom, you're getting a chimichanga? Chimichanga. Chimichanga. We're going to a Mexican restaurant. I hate yes. this restaurant, but guess what? There's an Anna's Pizza right next door to it. There's only two locations in the whole world, and the other one is right next to this place. Guess where we're not going today? Anna's. I know. It's really sad. Oh, look at how Christmassy it is. Jeez, look at that. That's a lot of lights. Oh my god. It is so Christmassy. We're in the next town over from our crappy town. It's like a breath of fresh air. Oh my god, my family's literally leaving me on the other side of the street. Look at Anna's. Guys, this is not fair. This is not fair. Oh, I just want to go in. This is not fair. I literally, oh, oh god. And I have to go into a Mexican restaurant I don't even eat at. Are you going to get the burrito? I like the music though. Like I said, I want to watch all the masks that we use. This is not Christmas music, but I am feeling it. Do you want to join? No. <laughs> Come on, Allison. Let's go. We're being judged. So hard. Okay. Hey, hola. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Muy bien. The woman just gave me the worst look. Probably their Christmas themed ones. All right, guys, food review, food review. This, this is beautiful. It's like... It looks delicious. I beg to differ, but that's okay. We're leaving. That was a little depressing because I kind of just sat there the whole time, but you know what? I made it entertaining because my dancing skills were amazing. We are again walking past Anna's, which is going to be hard for me. I might shed a tear. intuitive you are but it is not the same day. I guess the chimichangas got to me because I just stopped filming for yesterday. I just stopped. So to end today's vlog, deuces everyone, see you tomorrow, but that's today so that technically it's it's like vlogception. I'll see you guys later or today. Get it? Vlogception! Deuces!